everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL. Now, we are of course here back again on the VSS Sloth, our Mantis Cruiser Type B, which we are using for our engine failure challenge run. This of course means that we can only ever have one power bar in our engines, so we're having to rely on other things to keep ourselves alive. We have a couple nice things though to do that job. For example, level 4 shields early on in the game. We have a 4 person teleporter with a bunch of mantises ready to murder the enemy crews at high speeds. We have a nice teleporter and medbay combo, we've got a whole pile of hull weapons. We have a hull repair drone and defense drone to help us negate some of the damage we take. And we have got ourselves a weapon pre-igniter long-range scanners, and a damaged stasis pod, which might give us a crystal crew to augment our boarding party. So far, this is going pretty darn well, but we'll see how it holds up as we continue into the later stages of the game, because as we get further in, the enemies have more shots to throw at us, and it's going to be harder and harder for us to survive. So here we are in the Zoltan homeworlds, where we're going to be looking for a place we can get our crystal crew member thawed out. Let's go take a look around, though, first, and see what we can find. We found a Zoltan ship waiting at this beacon. They request our identification, but radiation from the sun in the system is disrupting communications. They take our silence for aggression and move in to attack. Well, they got lots of missiles to be sure, so we're gonna turn on the defense drone. Turn off the med bay, turn on the defense drone. Blast them with hull lasers, which should knock out their shields pretty quick. We'll probably take an extra salvo unless we want to waste a hull missile on them, which we might as well do, because it's not like we need the missiles. And I'd like to get in there before we take too many hits. So we'll fire a missile at them too. There we go, now we're going to board them, and they only have three Zoltan and no med bay, so they're going to die incredibly quickly once we get in there. Oh, I can't actually get in that room. Okay, wait till he comes to us then. Please shoot down at least one of those missiles. Eh, one's good enough. Artemises don't do too much damage to us, and we should be able to kill this guy before they get another missile off. There we go, very nice. With the crew dead, we take six fuel out of storage and another 56 scrap as well, which is highly enjoyable. Teleport back on board our own ship and get them healed up. I'd say that was fairly effective. Put the power back where I want it, there we go. None too shabby. We take a bit of damage, but that's fine. We do have the hull repair drone in the wings if we need it. I'd like to get some more drone parts. If we can get some for free, that would be fantastic. But if not, that's okay. We do have the hull repair drone if we need it. More missiles, what is this? This is weird. We spot a pirate ship looting a small Zoltan cruiser. They spot us and move into attack before our FTL drive has a chance to recharge, which isn't surprising given that our FTL drive takes about six years to recharge. So we're gonna jump in there and we're also gonna smash their weapons if we can to take out a couple of those missiles. There we go, there's one missile down. Uh, two hull breaches, which is crazy. If we can murder them before they can fire a missile, that would be amazing, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, they have a med bay too. We're gonna have to hull missile that med bay. There we go, there's a dead Zoltan. And they have fired a missile at us, so we're going to have to power up our defense drone if we want to not get hurt. So that's what we're going to do. Defense drone, go. Please shoot down that missile. Thank you. And the rest of the lasers do nothing. Down goes their crew. There we go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we get two fuel drone part and 50 scrap off it. Well, can't really complain about that. Back on here and get out of there, gents. And send them back into the med bay to get healed up as well. Too bad we have to spend the defense drone to block one missile, but it's definitely nice to not have to take any damage. On the other hand, it might have actually been better cost effectiveness if we had just taken the damage because a hull repair drone repairs more than that. <laughs> but whatever, that's fine. We have a store over here we could jump over to, or we can work our way through the nebula, which is probably a better choice. So we're going to jump over this way and see what we can find over there. What is lying at this beacon? Ah, borders. We catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before our sensors shut off unexpectedly. As we discover that our sensors are being jammed, we hear hostiles beaming onto our ship. We prepare to fight, and they have obviously just teleported into our med bay, which makes them monumental morons. They're also in our weapons, though, which is not ideal, so we'll send more Indico to distract whoever's in there for the time being. We'll even send in Declan to help him out. I don't know why he went into that space instead of into the first space, but whatever. These guys should have no problem killing off the people in the med bay. Yes, indeed. And even these guys managed to kill someone. Well done, Mort and... Oh, he ran away. That's what happened. He didn't actually kill anybody. Okay, that's fine. We can kill them in here while they're healing up. There we go. Dead borders. Mort into the helm. Declan back into the engines. Thank you very much. I do like having that power where I want it. 110 scrap is not bad. If we can find anything good at the store, we might invest, but I have a feeling we're not going to be spending any money here. What do we have? The Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knick-knack shop here. We decide to take a look, and they do have cloaking. 
and a scrap recovery arm, which would be awesome if we didn't have this uh, damage stasis pod I want to keep. We don't really have anything to sell either, which is unfortunate. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's jump here into this area and see if we can't get out the other side with any goodies. We do have some fairly nice equipment for jumping into nebulas with. We find from the tangled wrecks of many ships lying in dormancy here, lights flickering in the debris. A rebel scout bursts from the wreckage, and that's fine by us, because this guy's gonna get pummeled by our pre-igniter. Go, go, we might even just fire the, uh, oh wow, he took a lot of dodges in there. That's not ideal. Um, hmm. Well, we'll hull missile him, and then we should only need one more shot to kill him. There we go. Fire both of those before he should get be able to get his Hermes missile off. And these lasers can't hurt us because of our level 4 shields, which is always fun. Oh, they did get the missile off. Well, that's unfortunate. And they hit us, of course, because they didn't bother dodging, because we're going to hull repair it, because it's better than wasting a drone on that. Basically, it's the same at minimum. Ship explodes, giving us two missiles, a drone part, and 43 scrap, which is fine, so we're going to take some power out of here to turn on the hull repair drone, which will give us back at least that three damage that they did, if not a little bit more health, which is fine by me, although it appears we caught fire, so I'll vent out that room. You can hear the fire sounds if you listen closely. And now they're gone. Do a quick vent of the room to get oxygen back in, check the room with laggard to make sure the fire is dead. Yes, it is. Looking good. Okay. 153 scrap, which means we could go back there and buy that cloaking. Maybe we will. Let's jump back in here, buy the cloak, then we'll jump back into the nebula. Cloaking is the big thing we want to buy right now, so that is that. Now we are a lot harder to kill. Excellent. Let's jump over here. We actually have the chance to evade things now. Still only 75% with the cloak on, but still it's better than nothing. Our ship emerges quite far from the beacon. We see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for us, so we're going to attack them like crazy people. And they have an attack drone, but that's not a big deal. A mini beam, which is really not a big deal. They got a med bay, though. Hmm, these guys seem like they're pretty much pushovers. We're going to try and pummel them and see what we can do here. But it looks like we're not going to have too much of a hard time against them, unless that bomb is something nasty. But I think we should be okay. We should, they probably don't have many anti-personnel drones either, so we're just going to jump straight into their shield room. See what they have. Doesn't look too bad. We're going to try and hull laser blast them in the med bay. Yes, we got them, although we didn't destroy the room, unfortunately. That is a sad state of affairs. And they do have an anti-personnel drone as well. Uh-huh. So what are we going to do here? We can try and rush this guy, although he's going to be healing pretty fast in there. I think we're going to have to hull missile them, but we're going to wait a minute to do that, because there's no reason to rush in there just yet. Apparently we put a breach in the hull too, which is nice. There's one of their crew dead, at least, as the repair drone is taking up one of the med base slots. We're almost at the point where we can fire off another salvo. We're going to cloak out here so that bomb misses us. Oh no, it didn't miss us. It hit us anyway. I guess I cloaked that a tiny bit too slow. Blast him with some hull lasers in the med bay. There we go. We're taking some damage here, so we're probably going to run away this time. I don't like to run away, but it's definitely better than dying. So we'll send our crew back on board and get them healed up, because that's, like I said, definitely better than dying. We are at zero oxygen at the moment, but that's fine for the time being anyway. We are going to hull missile them in the med bay this time and charge back in there, I suspect. Hit us in an empty room with that small bomb, which is great. We may actually repair this before we go back. We're only already done to 74% oxygen. But I think we'll just jump back in there because we are crazy. Let's see if we can't just hull missile that room, though. And then hull laser it a couple times. And we missed. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to have a hard time killing these guys if we can't hit that room. We're going to try and get in there and smash those shields up again. That drone's going to go down, but they're going to replace it immediately, which is fine, but not a deal. We're going to cloak here. Hopefully that bomb misses us. Yes, it does. And that guy survived, unfortunately. Ah, this is going to be a pain. Okay, more hull lasers. Please smash him in the face. There we go. And now they're trying to run away, which is unfortunate. Thankfully, all their crew is in here trying to fight us, which saves us a bit of time. And we're going to... Mm, yeah. We don't have the firepower to heal them and smash them and get away in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to missile them, we're going to jump out before we get killed, and hopefully it's going to do some damage. Okay, they try and surrender to us now, giving us two missiles, a drone part, and 19 scrap. That's not bad. Better than nothing if they get away, too. So I don't know. We're not going to accept their surrender, though, because we're reckless fools. We're also going to send Mort into the oxygen to try and fix that, which means we're probably going to get hit by a small bomb right about now. Yeah, there it goes, into the engines, meaning we have no engine power. Okay, please fix that quickly, Declan, whilst our oxygen is being repaired. We'll send our Mantis back over to their ship momentarily. They're about to jump, so we need to smash them right now. So we're going to hit them in the helm right now. Please, please, please hit. Yes, okay, their FTL is delayed. 
That's good. We have a chance to fight them here. We're going to jump back into their shields, which should pull them all back out of that room. We can kill this drone. We're going to send you back to the helm. We're going to cloak. I don't know if it actually does anything here. I, have a, I think there's a bug where if you have no one on the helm, if you cloak, even though it says 60% dodge, you get 0% dodge. I'm not entirely sure about that one, though, so don't quote me on that. We're down to low oxygen, so we need to turn the oxygen system back on. That would be probably a good step. Destroy all these things, and we're probably going to kill these guys with lasers and whatnot, rather than just trying to murder them outright, given that they have that nice, powerful med bay. So we're going to smash their shields up a little, and then we're going to run for the hills. Our engines are damaged again, which is unfortunate. Declan's taking some serious damage in here. No, he's, he's fine. I guess that was just another... I don't know what that was. Okay, we're going to jump out of here. I'm not sure what's going on in this fight at this point, because we're getting hit from a variety of different places. Turn off that helm, and down they go. Fantastic. Alright, not as nice as it could have been, but definitely better than dying here. Ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 46 scrap, which we will certainly take. Like I said, definitely not as good as it could have gone, but definitely also much better than it could have gone. Okay. Too bad they had a max level med bay. If it had been level 2 or 1, that would have been an easy fight, but... We just couldn't quite do enough damage to their med bay to make it easy. Alright, so what we're going to do here, I think, is probably chill out here for a while whilst we recover. Um, yeah, because we need to get some of that oxygen back in here in case we run into anything nasty up ahead. We're going to probably upgrade our cloak, though. Mm, buy another power bar, maybe? Power bar. Yeah, that way we can run our drones if we need to and our cloaking, which is probably wise. We could jump over here, but we know there's nothing there. So we're going to jump over to this distress beacon, and we'll work our way around to the north after that. We are, of course, still looking for the Zolden Researchers event, if we can find one. And here we find some people who used their last FTL fuel to jump to this burnt-out husk of a station that we see before us. As we can see, the war must have spread to the sector, and they've been stranded here ever since. So we decided to give them two fuel, and what do they give us? They give us... oh, sector scans. Well, it's better than nothing, so our map is now updated. Eh not a lot here. Okay, well that's okay. We'll see if what we'll see what we can get. See what we can get. It's not game over yet. Keep looking for that researcher station and we might be able to find them before we run out of space. We spot a pirate ship here looting a small Zolden cruiser. They spot us and move into attack before our FTL drive has a chance to recharge. They're going to be boarding us in a second, which is okay. We're going to be using our defense drone here because they have a bunch of missiles. So defense drone go. Please hurry up and board us. Excellent, you're in our shield, so we're going to rush you in there and take you down before you have a chance to do a darn thing. There we go, guys. We're going to smash these guys into weapons, hopefully. We're probably not going to do too much damage, though. Mm. Yeah, let's use a missile on them. Go! And we'll fire the lasers all as well. And we got an extra hit, what do you know? Both of their missiles are now offline. I guess that defense drone is not going to do a whole lot, although it probably will because they have an NG in there who's going to repair very quickly. Yeah, they already had the Lido missile back online, and that guy died in transit. Excellent. So we are doing pretty well here from the killing off their crew early side of things. We're going to fire another salvo of hull lasers in there to mess up their weapons. Oh, we're getting good aim here. This is good. These guys obviously also don't have very good engines. All right, in the teleporter. Power to the teleporter. They do have a med bay, though, so our next shot is going to test the strength of their med bay. And then we're going to try and board them in there and take them out. So hopefully they only have a level 1 med bay, because we're not going to be able to do much more damage than that. Yes, they do. Fantastic. Jump into the med bay and kill them. They will not be able to outfight us in here, because we have the overpowering advantage with our numbers. And the fact that they can't repair it means that they are sitting ducks. So that rock man is going to come to us and die. And our drone should be able to handle the remaining Lido missiles without too much trouble. So there goes their rock man Narth, and our Mantis reign victorious again. We get three fuel from the wreckage and another 54 scrap. That works out quite nicely for us. Teleport back on board our ship. Get them in the med bay and heal yourselves to full, gentlemen. Defense drone offline, looking good. So, we can also power up our cloaking here, which we're going to do, and buy another power bar to run it. That way we'll be a lot harder to kill, or at least marginally harder to kill, which is all we can really hope for at this stage. What do we find here? Something strikes us as odd about the moon in the distance. We decide to check it out and see what's up. Eh. A closer inspection reveals signs of habitation on the surface, but nothing else particularly interesting. Ah oh well, it was worth an experimental search. We'll take a look over here at this beacon and see what they have for us. Anything good? Anything at all? 
Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across the sector. One such pirate spots our ship and moves into attack. Alright, they got Zoltan and Rockman, which makes them very not dangerous. They have a ba uh, Burst Laser Mark II and a Halberd Beam, which means they can't hurt us, so we can have our way with them. We're going to try blasting them in the med bay first to test the strength of that thing. Ah, it does have more than one layer. That's going to make it a little bit troublesome. We can easily tank them out here without any real troubles, and we should probably be able to board them and just murder their crew in here, because they are Zoltan but we'll have to see how it actually plays out. We are going to try and blast out their med bay again, although since they stopped repairing it there, it means it's not going to be fully health. There we go. We're going to send two of our mantis in there to make sure that guy dies before he fixes it, and these guys went down quite nicely. Cannot complain about that weapon pre-igniter. Makes things nice and easy here. There are, of course, no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we stripped a few some material, getting two fuel, a missile, and 58 scrap. Also, our two helms people just leveled up, which is great, giving us that marginally higher evasion chance is always good. Teleport back on board our ship and heal yourselves up again. Fantastic. And of course, we're not healing ourselves to full here in case we find an event that gives us hull repairs. It's fairly frustrating if you can if you just spend resources getting hull repairs when you could have gotten them for free moments later. Now we're gonna go a bit stupid here. We're gonna go to the exit, we're gonna come over here, then we're gonna go to the distress beacon, I think. And then we'll, we'll have to fight our back, fight our way back, probably through two rebel beacons. But the reason is, these are both unmarked beacons, which means they both have a chance of having the rebel researchers event, the Zoltan researchers event. Here when we arrive at the wrong blah, blah, blah. here when we arrive at the long range beacon, we find a black market hub willing to buy our extra military grade explosives. Well, we have a whole bunch of missiles, and we're not using them too fast, so we're going to sell them 10 missiles for 30 scrap. It's not a great deal, but it'll give us some money, and we don't need that many missiles at the moment. So now we're going to head over to this beacon, then the distress beacon, and then we're going to head back to the exit. Looks like we can make it back there in one jump, which will make things nice and easy for us. Please be Zoltan researchers. Nope. This is the Zoltan Homeworld's main event, though. We find that unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail, saying that this is a Zoltan peace envoy, and that they carry no weapons or shielding, relying merely on the mercy of others to communicate their message. We agree to hear them out, but only tentatively. What happens? They continue, saying, We take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond our simple mind, or it's all nonsense. They finish, saying that we should spread the word of enlightenment to those who have not heard. Once we have, we have to contact their brethren, giving us their coordinates. Alright, so we'll find them in the next sector, hopefully. Let's jump over here to this distress beacon and see if they have anything lovely for us. And if not, let's get on along to the next sector. We arrive at the beacon and immediately detect a pirate ship. It appears this be it appears this distress beacon was a trap. Well, that's okay. They got breach missiles, but nothing else scary. So we're going to turn on our defense drones. And we're going to give a little quick test here on how strong their med bay is. Ah, only has one layer in it. We're going to get in there and murder those fools. Alright, jump into the shields. They've gone in there, so we're going to send one of our crew into the med bay as well. And you know what, Lombard? You're going to run around the ship for a while whilst they try and fight you. Because these guys should have an easy time there in the med bay. We just want to make sure we don't get overwhelmed on this side of the ship. And he's gone off to the helm, too, so we're actually going to be perfectly fine here until all their crew except for the rock man is dead. And then we can gang up on him like, you know, gentlemanly people. We are taking a bit of damage here. Laggard is taking some hits, but he should be fine there with the combined forces of his ally there, Slowpoke. And they should be able to take down that Rockman without too much trouble. Should be able to. You know what we're going to do, actually? We're going to take all of our crew and move into the shields, and that should call him into this room where we can easily take him out with a power of three on one. There he goes. Done like dinner. With all the crew dead, we take four fuel out of their storage, and we also gather another 56 scrap. Loads of money. Indeed. I am welding this door. Okay, so we turn off the defense drone and 152 scrap that lets us buy our max level cloaking if we want it, which will give us the ability to dodge dangerous salvos, which is definitely a good idea. So we're taking that. We'll also buy... Mm, I don't even know what else we should buy. That's okay, though. We got plenty of money. We'll hold on to the rest of it for now. Now we actually have the chance of dodging things, which is lovely, for a fairly long time. And in fact, with the weapon pre-igniter and a long, long charge time cloak, that means you can get a lot of attacks in before they can do a darn thing to you. So we're going to try and take advantage of that against these rebels, most likely. They're probably going to have high-level shields, though, which is going to make us, yeah, not very effective. That's okay, though. They're going to try and board us with two of their crew, most likely, meaning we can murder them. We found the exit beacon, but of course the rebels got here first. We'll have to survive long enough to jump to the next sector, but if they charge us with two crew, which they just did, this probably shouldn't be too much of a problem. We're going to charge our mantises in there, and that should be just fine. Now we could try and hull missile out their med bay, but it probably won't kill the thing. These guys have a potential to do damage to us, because they do have enough to do three shield damage, but they're missing surprisingly often, which is really weird. 
So, they're down to two crew left, which means we should be able to absolutely ruin their day by boarding them. And that sounds like a great plan to me. So, Mantises, get ready for a crazy boarding action. Attack those shield rooms. This guy should die before he can get out of the room, given that we have three Mantis attacking him, but it looks like he got away safely, but that's fine by me. We're going to keep pummeling these guys until they eventually realize there's a silly idea to run away. Oh, they just keep taking that bottom door, which makes it a lot harder for us to do. That's okay, though. We'll smash up their shields, and then they're going to come in and try and repair those while we go destroy their med bay, and then everything is going to be just fine for us. Alright, get one more layer of damage in there if you could. Eh, we're doing fine here, though. We're not taking any damage. We killed them so fast, they don't have the time to do anything about it. Eh, things are going nicely here. We can just smash them all day. Unless they get really lucky and synchronize all of their weapons, we're not really in any danger. So, this shield system should be going down pretty quick. Actually, we could use this opportunity to just hull laser them in the med bay. That works. <laughs> Alright, you guys are going to go in there and murder them now. And uh, Lombard can keep smashing up that shield room for the extra fun. Down goes one extra crew member and two extra crew members. Nice try there, gentlemen. There's no time, to no time to salvage enemy ship. We have to jump away before the cruisers can get in range to attack us. But I'm not worried. We just got a free fuel and murdered another rebel elite. Seriously, guys. For being elites, you're really not all that elite. I could probably sit around here and fight you all day, but I'm not going to bother with that because we have better things we can be doing. Like moving forward. I find sticking around to fight the elites to get extra score is kind of boring. <laughs> like, you can do it, and you can get a whole pile of extra score that way, but why would you want to? Alright, jumping on to Sector 6, which is another zone-controlled sector, so we're not out of luck here so far for trying to get ourselves our crystal crew. We'll see what we can do in this area of space and see if we can't make any more progress. We're far from Federation home space here in Zoltan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, we have to push forwards. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We have a distress beacon right here, which looks lovely, and a quest beacon right over there, which is going to be some more free goodies. So we're going to go to the distress beacon first and work our way across to there. What do we have at this beacon? It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon, where our sensors are picking up a single life form. We're going to go down to the surface to investigate. We find a lone man, living in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Well, thankfully, we have an upgraded med bay, so we can bring him there to heal him up. Once inside our advanced med bay, the system is able to identify and minimize the trauma associated with being al alone for so long. Once awake, he states, uh, I don't know how to repay you. I feel ten years younger. Let me serve on your ship. Well, of course we agree. We got Charlie another Zoltan. That's pretty good. It's hard to complain about getting Zoltans. They're always nice to have. That extra energy is always good. So we'll stick him in the shields to gain ourselves an extra free energy bar. And what are we going to do with that energy bar? I think we'll upgrade our teleporter, perhaps. Give us that extra super speed. Although, that may not be the best choice, given that we really have nothing else to do with it. But, eh. Better to put it in something than put it in nothing, I suppose. Now, I'll hold on to the money for now, just in case we can find a good store here. Now, what we're going to do next, we'll jump over this beacon, I suppose, and we'll work our way around that way, most likely. Take advantage of as much of this space as we possibly can. What do we have at this fight? Oh, really? That's like the worst possible thing. The AI of a nearby small rebel scout immediately identifies us as a threat and engages. They got a whole pile of boarding drones, to, or attack drones, wow. Well, we only have one option here. We have to hull missile them in the shields and hope it hits. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to hurt these guys. Please hit them. Please, there we go. Okay, now we have a chance of doing a little bit more damage. Fire both of our hull lasers. Please all hit. Yes, we did. They're down to two layers. That's good. That means we should be able to do some more damage. This is going to be a battle of attrition. A serious battle of attrition. Now we're going to be cloaking out now, so hopefully as few of those shots hit us as possible. Excellent. That's what we like to see. We should be able to save the rest of our missiles now and just rely on lasers. So we're going to be pummeling them in the shields with our lasers now. Please hit more. No, you've missed all those shots. That's okay, though. We have plenty more where that came from. We should be able to fire up again. They may repair that top shield bubble, though, if we don't hit them really quickly. And we're going to get pummeled in another second by another salvo of their shots. Ooh, we're risking some serious damage here. Hit them in the shields, please. Hit them. Oh, my goodness. You were so good with the first shots. You need to hit them again, otherwise they're going to repair. And then it's going to be really hard for you to hit them. And we're taking damage, which is not good. So we're going to cloak out in a minute. As soon as that other gun fires, burst laser... Okay, cloaking out now. Now they shouldn't be able to hit us too much. We should be able to recover. We'll send our Mantis in here to repair. I should have someone on the on the weapons right now. I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. We're going to try and hull missile them in the shields. Hopefully this hits. And I'm going to send Lombard. Who has any weapon skill? Any of you? 
Slowpoke does. Slowpoke's gonna run over to the weapons, not that it really makes a difference. Please hit. Yes, you hit. Amazing. Okay, then we are going to fire another salvo of hull lasers, but this time we're hitting them in the helm. Please hit. Yes, now they can't dodge us, which means our other attacks actually have a chance of doing some serious damage, which is excellent. Alright, send our mantis back into the teleporter, not that it really matters. Just send them somewhere to get them out of the way. Here's gonna hurt. Oh boy. Oh, hit us in the doors. That's not too bad. Pummel them in the shields. They can't dodge right now. There we go. They have a hole in the shields, which means that system won't recover. We just leveled up our dodge again, which means we actually have 25% dodge, which is amazing, given how terrible we, uh, we could have. One more so Oh no, ouch, we're getting hit again! I really want that cloak active right now! Okay, we're getting out of here. We're, we're dodging as soon as that next shot fires. Dodge, please! I do not want to get hit any more than necessary here. Whew. Okay, repair all that damage, please. We're gonna hull laser them in the weapons next, because we actually have the shots to do that. Take out all the remaining firepower. Ooh. Okay, this has been a lot nastier than it needed to be. One more salvo. We'll kill them. They can't kill us. Yuck. I probably could have reduced damage significantly by being just less terrible there, but sometimes you gotta make bad decisions. Alright, down goes the Rebel Scout. Jeez. Ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 53 scrap. That was nasty. That kind of thing's gonna happen, though, especially as we get further and further into this game. They're gonna start throwing enemies at us that absolutely wreck our day. Alright, Charlie, back into the shields, and we are gonna send Slowpoke, of course, back down as well. No way he's gonna level up that weapon skill, but that's fine by me. 122 scrap. We have a distress beacon here in an asteroid field. We could uh, theoretically go there, because we do have level 4 shields, which give us a lot of the protection we'd need. And it's a distress beacon. It doesn't appear to be a fight, so it's probably rescuing someone from an asteroid field, which is probably fairly safe. Mm, I think what we're going to do, though, we're going to upgrade our doors, because we still haven't done that. We're going to upgrade our teleporter as well. That way we can put that power bar to use. Now we're going to jump into the distress beacon, check out the quest beacon, and hopefully find ourselves some Zoltan researchers in here somewhere. Alright, asteroid field, what do we have? We jump into a Zoltan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message us, saying, Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. Well, our options here aren't looking too good. Either way, you generally don't get anything good out of helping either of these people, but we're going to decide to help someone. We're going to go help those Zoltan, I suppose, because the Mantis are probably doing something wrong. So we're going to interfere and help the Zoltan. We overtake the Zoltan and catch up with the Mantis in the asteroid belt. Time to make some friends. Yes, indeed. Neither side is going to be happy with us for doing this, but that's fine by me. You want to come in here with all my guys? Okay, that's cool. I'm okay with that. We're going to be powering up a defense drone for this one because blocking some of those asteroids would be nice, or at least some of those Hermes missiles would be extra nice. Down he goes, running up here into the medbay. They do not actually have a medbay on board their ship, which means they're going to die incredibly fast. Especially because we have an outnumbering firepower at this stage. So we're going to jump into their weapons room, I guess, because it has lots of space. And you know what? We're also just going to cloak here so that missile's not hitting us as much as possible. I probably didn't need the drone, but I've got it, so I suppose it's better safe than sorry. The problem is I'm using up my drone parts, which I could be using for hull repair now, which is a little bit disappointing, but whatever. As we're salvaging the Mantis wreck, the Zoltan Security Patrol returns with three other ships. We salvage what we can quickly and set off before they stop us for questioning. Getting two fuel, drone part, and 54 scrap. Alright, well, we'll take it. We'll jump back on board. We do, of course, have to wait for the full recharge here to happen on our engines, but it shouldn't take too long. There we go. Alright, we should also quickly heal up our guys. We're not in any real danger here at this point, so we're going to heal up our Mantis before we move on. There we go. All right, Slowpoke, Laggard, and Lombard, back to your stations. Power back into the teleporter in case we need it. And let's jump to the quest beacon. Let's see what we can find. We still haven't found those Zoltan researchers, though, which is not looking too good. We arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, but the only thing nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We found you, they say. You're not getting away this time. Well, of course, this is the, Z the Zoltan mission, which we've done several times in our games here, because we seem to find this all the time. So we attempt to hail them, and once opening communications, they say that they can't imagine there's anything we could say that would save us. The Rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete Federation. And of course, the answer here is, perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. They say, our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end any way but war? Which, to we say... True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. 
Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around us. The captain of the ship we met previously materializes on our bridge. Ugh, really, a burst laser mark one? That's your reward? Although your methods are crude, and most certainly ineffective, they say, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. Getting 61 scrap and a burst laser mark one. Ugh. 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 Whatever. Better than nothing, I suppose. Powering up the med bay again, because why not? Buy another power bar to run it if we feel like it. 60 scrap, where are we gonna go? We can jump into this nebula sector, I suppose, and check out over there, but I think we're gonna come around this area and hope there's some goodies over there we can get. It's not looking too good here, though, so far. We jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its NG escort takes us for the attacker and retaliates, refusing all hails. They have a glaive beam! Who said you could have a glaive beam? I want a glaive beam. All right, we're gonna teleport onto their ship. We're gonna go straight for their engines, I think, maybe? Somewhere hard to get to the med bay from. Maybe the weapons, I don't know. Somewhere, mm, there's nowhere really good to go. It's gonna take us a lot of shots, to, or really lucky shots, if we wanna take out that med bay. So we're gonna fire a barrage of hull lasers at it and see if it has only one level. It does, that's lucky. So we should be able to completely murder these guys and they should have no way of surviving. We're really lucky they only had a level one med bay. All right, now they're, wow, actually just got really lucky there. 25% dodge is actually quite reasonable. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be much worse only having one layer of engines. And down go all of the NG. They didn't even get a chance to fire that thing. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. We get a missile, a drone part, and 56 scrap from them, though. Excellent. Teleport back on board our own ship and heal up our Mantis. I'm kind of surprised. Normally I get enough crew that I can actually send a fourth person in with him, even if he's not a Mantis. But on this, we're just not getting what we want. Okay, we have a Burst Laser Mark 1. That's not as good as the Hull Laser. It shoots a little bit faster for the same amount of power, but this has the opportunity to do double damage, and we start with a Weapon Pre-Igniter, so the extra slowdown doesn't really make much of a difference. Where we go? There's a whole bunch of potentials over here, but none of them really smack of a uh, Zoltan Researcher event to me. We're surprised when a stationary Zoltan, blah, 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 stationary Zoltan ship opens fire. It appears there are aggressive pugilists even amongst the Enlightened. These guys have some... Fairly poten well, potentially dangerous weapons. We'll have to wait and see how dangerous they actually are. We're missing quite a bit, which is not good. We're actually going to wait until our hull lasers charge up again and just smack them in the face. I'm not going to use any missiles here. We Since I sold half of our missile supply, we're kind of low on missiles, so I'm not super keen on spending them for no reason. Oh, that was silly of me. I don't know why I just wasted my, uh, my cloak like that. Whatever. Blast down those shields, and we're going to jump in there and start punching some Zoltan. Here we go! Alright, come fight us there, guys. This guy's probably going to wind up a very painful death, or him if he gets burst fired down. Ah, you lucky Zoltan, you. This guy's going to die for sure, though. No chance of him getting away. They just nuked out our doors, but that's not going to be a problem, because they're not coming in here. This Zoltan's going to get murdered really quick, because he's on his own, and he's not getting out of there alive. Come on, get him! Yeah, he got him. Can we take them out while they're still having their med bay fully active? That would be fun. Get in here, let us kill you. I really want to get my cloak online right now. Go! And he's gone off into the medbay again. Just go and kill him. You're faster than that. You kill faster than a Zoltan can heal. Or do you? He's actually doing a pretty... No, he's dead. There we go. <laughs> he's actually doing a pretty good job in there, but nope. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we get a missile, a drone part, and 65 scrap from them. Loads of money. This is this is probably going to be a very high-scoring game, because we've been getting a ton of resources here. Power up that medbay. Aw, uh, yeah. Alright, speed healing is always nice. 181 scrap. We're running out of stuff to put scrap into, honestly. Hmm, if we could get this and all of these weapons active, that'd be amazing. Or maybe just swap the hull missile for the burst laser. That would give us extra laser potential and not risk miss wasting missiles. That would probably be quite nice, actually. It's not amazing. I mean, it's a burst laser mark 1, but it's probably better than the hull missile, which I haven't been using much anyway. We'll swap it out for now, and if we'll keep it in the reserves in case we decide we want it later. So we'll power that up, giving us that immediate six lasers, which is pretty darn good. Not amazing. You can get 12 if you have three, four burst laser mark threes, but <laughs> we don't quite have that opportunity here. 181 scrap. What do we want to spend it on? I don't even know. We'll hold on to the money for now, I suppose, because there's nothing else we can spend it on without wasting it. And please give us a Zoltan Researchers event. <gasps> Yay! We got it! We arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility, who say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if our crew has the time to undergo a few scans, and we ask if they can fix our damaged stasis pod. Oh yes. Interesting, they say. I've never seen a cryogenic system like this. It appears to still be functioning. They hook it up to their system and run a number of tests on it. 
Amazing! It has the ability to reconstruct a body if it was damaged during transit. Watch! They reactivate the pod, and we watch as the hunks of crystal inside reform to build a humanoid structure. The pod slides open, and the reformed alien steps out. It speaks slowly. Greetings. I appear to be in your debt. My people isolated themselves a long time ago, but perhaps it's time to reestablish a connection. There's a hidden wormhole near the Rock Homeworlds. Perhaps you can take me there so I can properly repay you. Well there, Mara. Welcome aboard. You're going to be joining our boarding party as our new piece de resistance. With your lockdown power, we will have the ability to absolutely demolish the enemy, despite not being able to get through their shields in some cases. This lockdown power, combined with three mantis and max fighting skill, will give us the ability to trash basically any med bay before the enemy crew have a chance to get inside and stop us. So this makes our boarding party pretty much the most effective thing it could possibly be, disregarding weapons. Four Mantis gives you the highest possible firepower. If you have a bunch of rockmen and you have a fire weapon of some sort, you can do some serious damage that way. But this, this setup here, a crystal crew and three max level Mantis, oh boy, you are a dangerous, dangerous thing. Oh boy, yes you are. All right, well, this is pretty much ideal. That could not have gone better. Okay, so that's fantastic. What are we going to do next? Oh, okay, it's an asteroid field. Could have been worse. I was expecting it was going to be something really nasty. But we can handle an asteroid field. We're probably going to go, in this case, one jump, two, three, four, and out. Probably. I'm not sure if we can make that jump. It would be disappointing if we can't. And it looks pretty far, so we might not be able to. But we're going to take our chances here. We're going to jump into the asteroid field and see if we can't wreak some havoc. Although I think we're going to spend a hull repair drone first. Just to make sure we have a little bit of extra health in case the asteroid field enemies happen to be particularly nasty. It is nice having that ability to have a little bit more health whenever you want it. Okay, so this might be pretty good, it might not be so good, depending on what we're running into. If it's a drone in here, it'll be kind of disappointing. We won't be able to test out our new lovely crew, but otherwise, we have the potential to do some nasty, nasty things to them. Okay, well, we're going to leave it as it is, and we're going to jump straight into that asteroid field and hope for the best. What do we have in here? Please don't be a drone. Please don't be a drone. Awesome, you're a Zoltan. You're going to die. Oh, they didn't even have a med bay. These guys are doomed. Two Zoltan? You're done. We arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Process Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. Well, we don't have time for that, so we're going to take these guys out with the greatest of ease. They've got a lot of lasers, but that's okay because... Oh, they have a super shield still. We're going to knock that thing out. It shouldn't take too long because all these asteroids here... Oh, really? That was a terrible salvo of misses. All right, burst laser two. I forgot to use that as well. Burst laser one, rather. There we go. One more asteroid needs to hit them, and then I can board them. Awesome. Time to die. Hello, Zoltan. I hope you like death. Now we're going to lock you in here with Mara's lockdown power. Zonk! And we're going to cloak now, so you can't hit us with any of your deadly lasers. 85% dodge is not bad. And their ship has already been emptied of hostiles. And as we search it, we find a prisoner who offers to join our crew and 42 scrap. What are you, prisoner? Karis, you're a human. Well, that's not bad. It could be worse. We'll stick him in the weapons for now, and if we find a better alien later on, we'll swap him for that. Excellent. So we'll heal up our two minorly damaged mantis there with super healing. There we go. And send them back into our teleporter. Looking good there, guys. That was your first absolutely ravaged... Oh, my goodness, words. <laughs> first ship ravaged. 223 scrap on hand. Ah, I can't make it over there. Well, that's too bad. We'll take our two jumps here and then leave, I guess. We can't get anything else here, and there's no point in fighting the rebels when we don't need to. What do we have at this beacon? Oh, free system repair drone and 26 scrap when we ask at a nearby station for aid. A friendly programmer happily gives them to us. Well, we'll take that for sure. Thank you very much there, friend. Let's head over to this exit beacon, and we'll see what we get there. Hopefully some more goodies. Can't say no to free things. We arrive at the long-range beacon, and where the FTL drive is charged, we'll be able to jump ahead to the next sector, and here we find a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat, and doesn't seem to want to engage us or our ship. But that's fine, we're going to demand to surrender their goods anyway, because we're crazy like that. We prepare to secure their cargo by force, and they don't want to fight and are trying to escape. Well, that's fine, they got a burst laser mark, mark 3, and a bomb of some kind, but I'm not too scared about that. We're going to pummel them in the helm to make sure they're not going anywhere, and then we're going to try and do our nasty, nasty tactics. Blast that helm, please! Oh, you one hit on it? Really? Okay, so we're going to teleport into there. Okay, hang on. Let them move. There we go. Teleport into the med bay. And they're in the wrong place. Okay, so we'll send these guys down into the weapons. Please don't stay in there. Okay, we're going to send these guys into here and immediately lock down. 
Keep them out. Ah, one guy got in. That's going to make a pain in the butt for us to kill him. All right, now what we're going to do next then is we're going to pummel them in the helm again to make sure they don't run away. They've bombed us in the shields from the looks of things, but their helm is destroyed, so we should be okay. We're not going to be able to take out their med bay for a while, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to rush around the side here and try and take out... No, no, I'll rush around the side game. Cloak, please. All right. They're going to come over to our shields now. These guys should be able to trash the med bay while they're fighting over here. So this should work out fine after all. Although, it looks like he's coming back to give us some trouble, which is not great. What we're going to do instead, then... Oh, we got one layer out of it. Can we kill him with that one layer gone? Not quite. Yes, we got him. Fantastic. Can they kill this guy together with that layer gun? Looks like it. And down goes Marcus. Yes, he does. Bye-bye. The ship was apparently carrying information about the surrounding beacons. Oh, lovely. This is the last area in the sector. But we did get 51 scrap, bringing us up to a nice round 300. Awesome, guys. That We messed up our first uh, real attempt here, but that's because I wasn't expecting them to move the person in the first slot over. Oh, he wasn't in the first slot, was he? Oh, he's down there. Well, that was my own fault. <laughs> It'll take a bit of practice to get used to managing these systems, but that's okay. Now, someone is injured. Yeah, Charlie is also injured, so we'll send him into the medbay with Mara. Everyone else seems to be more or less fine, though, so that's fine. We'll heal them up to full. Good job, Charlie. Back to the shields. Mara back down into the teleporter. We have the potential to be absolutely devastating here. The potential to be absolutely devastating here. Yes, indeed. With the firepower we have available and this weapon pre-igniter, the scanners to avoid dangerous things, the hull repair and defense drones to keep us alive, this immense amount of scrap to buy new things if we can find weapons to buy, that's probably what we want to do. We want to upgrade our weaponry because it's pretty terrible and we can't really use our money for much else. So if we can find that in the next sector, we will be absolutely laughing. And we could have probably gone to that store and got something good, but nah. We have an NG controlled, blah, 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 NG controlled sector or NG homeworlds to jump to up ahead, and then we have the last stand ahead of us. We're obviously not getting to the rock homeworlds because there's no red areas in front of us. There's this one over here. We can't get over there anyway. And I'm okay with that. We have our crystal crew after all, which is all we really wanted. NG controlled sector or NG homeworlds? I guess NG homeworlds is the obvious choice. Is there anything we want to do before we go? Power back with the shields, obviously. Get that fourth power up and running. But I think that's the obvious choice, so we're just going to go there. NG homeworlds it is. Here we go, Sector 7. We've made it pretty much all the way across the galaxy so far, which is looking pretty darn good. Here we are arriving in NG space, where the Mantis have been threatening our NG core worlds. We should, of course, be able to stock up for our journey. All right, well, we have a good stuff going on here. Some good stuff going on. We have another spot for an augment. If we can find another one to buy at a store in here, too. There should be three stores here, because it's an NG area. Green areas have three stores in them, for the most part. Which should give us the opportunity to get some kind of awesome weaponry. Some kind of awesome weaponry. And if we can take advantage of that, we will be laughing. So you know what? We're unfortunately going to have to end this episode here for now. But thank you very much for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing FTL in the VSS Sloth, our Mantis Cruiser Type B, as part of our Engine Failure Challenge Run, which I must say has been going quite smoothly. If you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the episode one more time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.